when I tell you I almost myself because I thought I was going to die. Now I'm just trying to get paid. You ain't working for minimum wage. Can't let them dreaming like I was a slave. Got cousins and brothers that lay in the grave. Still! What's good? First off, I'm gonna give a big, big, big thanks to everyone who liked and shared my last video. It was my first vlog. If you haven't seen it, check it out right now. It's in the link right down there in the description. Also, if you wanna check me out on any of my social media, the links are here. Now we got that out of the way. Y'all seen the freaking title at the top. We gonna go jump right into it. So I thought it'd be a great idea for my 25th birthday to go skydiving. Something I've been trying to do for years now, but every time I get a group of people to go, they always mark out. I finally decided to do it. So we drove about two and a half hours to meet with a great group of dudes at No Limit Skydiving who had military experience, so it's pretty easy to say that they know what they were doing. You know, you could trust in them. You know, military background eased our minds a bit. At this point, I was trying to, trying to get my head wrapped around and I'm about to jump out of this plane. I have no clue how high I am. Now, I'm going to pause this video real quick. Literally five minutes before she jumped, we were sitting there and the door flung open. Mid-air, nobody was strapped in, no one had seatbelts on, anyone could have flew out. Everybody else was kind of secure because we were tucked in the back of the plane. She was right next to the door. Door flung open when I tell you I almost shit myself because I thought I was going to die. Most of this happened pretty fast. I don't think the chick that just jumped knew that she was about to jump because what they told us was supposed to set your foot up on the platform and then they'll throw you out. He just opened the door and threw her out. She was not ready. Me laughing, <laughs> nervously trying to play it off. He's telling me all the instructions I need to do at this point. Pretty much set my feet up on the platform. He's keeping my legs between his so he can steer us. I immediately went internal. Look at that face. He know what he doing. Now look at my face. Then we go fast forward to the point where I can see the airplane. My instant reaction was, why the hell am I falling on my back? I should be facing down, looking at the ground, not looking at the belly of the plane. Immediately I thought everything was going wrong. I did not know what to do, so I grabbed my vest and I held on. I'm too young to die. Who gonna take care of my car? Who gonna calm my mustache? My mustache. Oh. <laughs> All right, snap back into it. Back to the video. So after we leveled out and I realized that we weren't gonna die, he reminded me to open up my hands and fall out and do all the things that he taught me. At this point, I, I realized there was nothing to be worried about. He was gonna take care of me. At a certain point when you're falling, you forget that you're falling. You feel like you're just kind of floating there. Soon as they pull the release to open up the chute, you slide down right into his junk. So let's put all the factors together. Thousand feet in the air, you're in the dude's junk. I got in my pants and my mustache is crooked. Oh, okay. No one told me that if you have motion sickness and you're easily to get seasick, when they try to steer and pull them damn levers going back and forth, you will get motion sickness. This close to throwing up. Now, in the brief, they tell you, when we land, make sure you kick your feet up, heels down, and when we land, slide on your butt and do not try to stop yourself. If you try to stop yourself, you're probably gonna mess up your ankles. I decided to wear all white chucks to jump out of the plane. I didn't listen. Um, we're just gonna leave it as that. I didn't listen, and I kinda paid a result for it. And this is what happens. Uh, right into the freaking grass. Y'all know what I mean. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that was there, but that was the most awkward handshake I ever had. Overall, it was a great experience. Next time, I would like to do it maybe at a little bit higher altitude and a little bit more people, you know, make for a funner experience. If you guys like this video, please show it in the comment. Like I said before, if you guys haven't already, follow me on social media. I got more videos on there, motivation, comedy, all types of videos on there. Links in the description and links right at the bottom right here. Go do it. Till next time, Stu out. These people think I'm actually going to freaking jump out of another plane. Hell no. Now I'm just trying to get paid. You ain't working for minimum wage. Can't let them dreaming like I was a slave. Got cousins and brothers that lay in the grave. Let's be ruthless.
way back in the day Stealing and dipping, then making a trade When my mind's moving down to the 